about Balloon World, I'm Michael Flood, your Balloon Twister. And this week I want to teach you how to make a really simple koala bear. Now I know it looks complicated, but trust me, you can make this. Let me show you how. To make the koala bear, you need two balloons. You'll need a gray 260, and you'll need a black 260. This next part is optional. If you want to make the tree that the koala bear is climbing on, you'll need a lime green 160, a goldenrod 160, and a goldenrod 260. We're going to start with the koala bear first. Get your black balloon and inflate it just a little bit. Let's them out. And tie. Give it a nice gentle squeeze and a little stretch. We want to make the nose of the koala bear. So we're going to twist a bubble that's about two inches long. So it should look like that. You also want to make sure that you leave plenty of slack when you're tying your knot. Because we're going to take that slack now, we're going to wrap it around that seam, and we're going to tie a knot into it. And when you pull it tight, you want it to pull in just a little bit there. You can tell that's not exactly a whole pinch twist, but it is thinner than a round bubble. Now I want to break it off once again, leaving plenty of slack. And to keep it from coming undone, I'm going to tie another knot. So you can see this one here looks like long and thin, but still sort of chubby. That's what we want for our nose. Now get your gray balloon out to make the rest of the koala bear. You want to inflate it halfway. Let them out and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. We want to tie the end of the black bubble that we made right onto the end of the gray balloon that we just inflated. This can be a little tricky and it takes a little bit of practice. But you're basically tying two ends together. Once you have those ends tied together, you want to clean it up so that you don't have all that slack bit coming off. But if you have like a chunky little knot like that, that's okay, this is going to be hidden inside the head. So now we have the nose attached to the gray balloon and the gray balloon is soft. We're going to start making the rest of the koala bear's head. We're going to twist one small bubble about an inch long and we're going to pinch twist this by pinching it, pulling it and twisting it. So it should look like that. Now we're going to twist three small bubbles, each about half an inch. Make sure you twist them real good so they don't come in dead on you later. And as you're going, you'll notice that this balloon is getting hard again. So you want to make sure you squeeze it and stretch it every so often to make sure it's soft so it doesn't pop on you. So this is what you should have so far. Now if I let go of this, it's going to come all unraveled on me. So to keep that from happening, I'm going to take this and put it in between my pinky and my ring finger. That way I can hold on to it with one hand without it coming undone, leaving this hand free to pinch and squeeze and stretch and do whatever else I need to do. See? Really a lifesaver. Now we want to make five bubbles, each the same size, about two inches long. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And you can see, because I'm holding on to both ends, they're not going to come undone on me. You also want to make sure you twist them plenty so that they don't come undone on you, even if you accidentally drop it just a little bit. Now we're going to twist this seam right here, where the big bubbles meet the small bubble, to this seam right here. Now we're going to take that nose that we made, we're going to push it through the center of the hole, like that. And we're going to pinch twist this bubble here and this bubble here. Once again, the way you pinch twist it is by pinching it, pulling it, and twisting it. There we have one ear of our head. Now to do the other ear. Pinch, pull, twist. There we go. Now we get to straighten up the nose a little bit. You want that bubble there in the middle that's attached to the nose to be inside the head. These two here are just for support. I also like to adjust the nose so that it runs tall, because koala bears have like long, tall noses. There we go. And there's our koala bear's head. Isn't it adorable? Now you might recognize this head. This is a simple teddy bear head. So it's really easy to do. You might already know how to do it. We've just added a little bit of detail to take it to that next level. And now it's time to make the rest of the koala bear body. You want to give the balloon a nice squeeze and a stretch? We're going to start with the neck. We're going to twist a small bubble, about half an inch. There's the neck. I'm going to also put it between my fingers so I can free up my other hand. I'm going to twist the arm. I'm going to twist a bubble about two inches long. Another half inch bubble. Another half inch bubble. And another bubble two inches long. So these two here should be the same size and these two here should be the same size. Now I'm going to twist this seam here into this seam here. And there are his arms. Now I'm going to go down a little bit, maybe about three inches. That'll be his body. And I want to see how much of the balloon I have left over. I'm going to give it a nice squeeze and a stretch. You should be all the way at the end now. If you have a little bit of uninflated section or you didn't make it this far, it's a little bit more about managing your air so that you get to this point. Once again, practice helps a lot. 
but you can make it. I trust you. If you need to use another balloon, feel free. Now we're going to make the legs. I'm going to twist the legs where I can twist this last bit into two sections that are even length, leaving me a little tiny bubble on the end. So I've divided the remaining section. Oops, got to make sure you to hold on to them, otherwise it comes undone. There we go. So I've divided the rest of the remaining section into two equal sections after the bubble. Now I'm going to twist this seam here into this bubble. And there we go, we're done with the koala bear. The only thing left to do is to draw the art on his face. For the art, I start with the black sharpie. To draw his face, I start with the eyes. I draw two large black circles on both sides of his nose. So you can see how cute that is right there. Aw, oh, isn't he cute already? Then over each of the eyes, I draw an eyebrow, which is basically like a thick black art. And now I'm gonna add some more detail using a white paint marker. This is an Edding 750. I'm gonna put a little bit of gleam in each one of his eyes, which is just a small circle in the top right corner. And you can see that adds a lot of character to it. And if I want him to be really cute, I'll add an even smaller gleam in the bottom left corner. Oh, see how adorable he is. But to make him look even more like an adorable koala, we're gonna add some white hair to the inside of each ear. Now it's really looking a lot like a koala. And we're done with the koala bear. Now it's time for that optional tree. The first thing we're gonna need for the tree is a base to put it on. So we're gonna make a flower base out of a 260. You wanna inflate it about halfway. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. We're gonna make five or six small soft flower petals. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Now I can check it to see if there's enough space for a sixth. And you know what, I think there is. So I'm gonna do a sixth one. And six. The rest of this piece here I don't need so I can pop it off. Take the slack and wrap it around a couple of times. And then you wanna adjust it so all the petals are laying the same way. Next, get your goldenrod 160 to make the rest of the tree. Inflate it halfway. Put some out and tie. Give it a stretch. You don't wanna squeeze this one. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our koala bear onto this one by feeding it gently through his legs and his arms. We only want a little bit of the yellow balloon to come out here at the end and we wanna give it a nice little bend. That way we can attach the leaves right here onto the end. We're gonna go down maybe about two inches, twist a seam there, and then that seam there, we're gonna twist right into the base of our flower petal. I go around once just to make sure it's nice and secure. The rest of this we don't need so we can break it off. And to make sure it doesn't deflate on me, I'm gonna wrap that around a couple more times. Now he's sitting on a branch, but we should add some leaves to make it look more like his natural environment. Get your lime green 160 out and inflate it halfway. Let's him out and tie. Give it a nice gentle squeeze and a gentle stretch. We're gonna make two small bubbles, each about an inch long. We're gonna twist the knot here into this seam here. And we're gonna take that slack and we're gonna wrap it through that seam. Effectively pinch twisting those, but making them a little bit more square. Now we're gonna do three leaves, sort of like palm leaves, but not exactly. We're gonna go down about two inches. Make sure you twist it really good here. Now we're gonna get plenty of slack out. So we can take that slack and wrap it right back down and around the piece we just made. So it looks like that. That's a really easy way of making a section out and back again without breaking the balloon. Now we need to do that two more times and we're gonna make it a little bit longer each time. So now I'm gonna go out to maybe about three inches. Twist it a lot. Get plenty of slack. Pull that slack all the way back down and wrap it around. Now I'm gonna go out to like four inches. Make sure you twist it plenty. Get plenty of slack. And pull that slack right back down and wrap it around. Now that's all I need so I can break off the rest of this. And I'm gonna take that slack and wrap it around a couple more times just to make sure it doesn't come undone on me. 
So you should have something that looks like this. Now we're gonna take the knot right here, we're gonna wrap it around to attach it. We're then gonna slip it between those pieces like that. And now we're gonna arrange these so that on one side you have the longest and on the other side you have the shortest. And you can give them a nice gentle bend. It should bend pretty easy. But there we go, now we have some leaves on the end of the branch that he's holding on to. And we're done with our optional tree for our koala bear, which I think he's happy about, because he needed some place to hang out. Well that's it for this video guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button, and I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. So if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you subscribe. And if you can't wait till next week, well there is a playlist in the description to keep you busy till then. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember you can make anything out of balloons, even a koala bear.